Dear viewers, welcome to a continuation of our project based tutorial in Autodesk Inventor. In our previous lesson, we learned or we created this isometric block. Now, in this current lesson, we are going to draw orthographic views from this block. Our main objectives at the end of the lesson will be able to create a new part file, create orthographic views either in first angle or third angle projection, create section of views, retrieve and arrange dimensions. So uh, I'll, before we proceed, because we've completed this in the previous exercise, I'll change now the properties so that it can look appealing and nice. So let me go to giving it a good appearance. Look at that. Here we are. You can change it by selecting in of your preference, I uh, can say, let me say to Cooper Satin or whatever it is. Oh, let me even use uh, this. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Let me change here. Okay, let me go to Meta, Hot, and uh, this one. Yeah, this looks beautiful. Let's use this one, I'll pan and move it a little bit and even a uh, uh, zoom extend for it to be seen well. Now, let's start our lesson as part of these objectives. I'll go straight away again. Now, in this case, I'm going to create a new part file, metric. But in this case, we are not going to create an assembly or just a part of a standard.ipt part. We are going to create uh, an annotated document. So, we will use iso.idw yes there we are and we say create now here we are i'd like to make a few clarifications for those who are beginners that in engineering drawing there are quite a number of things that you consider especially in paper dimensions uh, there are quite a number of paper sizes uh, right away oh, upon creating a new part, uh, part file in this it brings for you the better paper dimension and places it so i'm going to change and i'll guide you through now the first thing as you can see it has the title block here and our workspace is there we're going to place our uh orthographic views now before we start placing them you can pan zoom and also move within your work area to position it very well now let me go to the sheet you can select it right click on it and then you can say edit the sheet now as you can see it's uh you can give it uh, the name let me say isometric no uh, now this uh, orthographic orthographic uh, block um, done with it the revision the paper size is where you can now change the paper dimension oh, oh, you can it's a or a3 or whatever you, i prefer this one is okay also the custom sizes are here for you select as part of your preference but uh, let me retain a3 well say okay now here it is as you can see it's, uh, let me zoom for us to see what we call the title block the title block is here later I'll guide you on how to edit this title block but for now we'll go straight away to placing uh, our uh, other graphic views by creating them okay now let me position it that way it's, it's clear the next step you can just go to this tool here and click uh, base and by default the active the last active the last active drawing like this one you can see it has not taken this one but it is taken the last active drawing which is this one that we clear created and changed it brings it now it's good to know and also to note that it has placed the front elevation here but still using this view cube you can rotate you can rotate and it can also change which one you want to start with the as the front elevation remember when we initially land on a plane i specifically stressed on the need to understand the views using the plane whether from the front or the side or the plan by using the xz x x y uh, etc 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 now i'm going to move it and rotate it and uh, prefer using this at the front elevation if you want to refer to your drawing then i can click this 
to end you can say i want to use this side as the front elevation from viewing it from the side so it's in order as you can see now i'll click the left button mouse and drag it now here comes another let me move this one to the right side uh, press the left mouse button down and drag it to where you want do you want to draw it in fast angle projection for those who know you know how to place the plan uh, on top of uh, uh, on top of uh, 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 the front view on top of, of the plan that's in fast angle projection or the other way around you can uh, uh, drag it down if you want to draw in third angle uh, projection and also place uh, the uh, the plan on top of the front elevation and the side elevation on this side that's in third angle projection but i prefer fast angle projection so let me straight away put it there place it there position it there now the next thing drag it down to draw your plan here is my plan I placed it and onto your right side of the front elevation to draw your side elevation and you place it you're placing actually and now the auxiliary view you can drag it down there you can drag it on the top now i want to zoom it a little bit without even clicking anywhere first uh, using your wheel of the mouse and i can just maybe uh, move the views to see i can right uh, i can click there to place this one mm -hmm. I don't like th that view so i'll uh, move to this corner down let me check this one out ah yeah beautiful this is the front uh, show show well and then now in this case i'll right click and say okay now oh, it has placed those ones but again i have to position them by dragging them now since this one uh, i don't want it you click within the space that is been highlighted and you can straight away delete it requires your confirmation you say okay i don't want it so also click this one within the space and drag it using your left mouse button as normal and i want it to be positioned there now as you can see i need to do a few tricks here they're very simple and it's enjoyable uh first of all you can uh, double click on this one by double clicking on this one see you can see the scale the scale is just but there now let me drag this uh, uh, uh window over here and if you want to change the scale you can always change the scale by clicking there you can say okay it's an enlarged or retain the scale or you can uh, reduce the scale it's entirely up to you you can say 0 0.8 but the space is okay let me leave it at a one to one uh as in the actual drawing without resizing it here is now where i want to change it to the actual shape it was colored here now you click on that one you click on that one and you say okay now let me see voila it's there it's been changed now it's very interesting because as you can see there are no dimensions at all but when we are drawing the drawing here let me refer to uh this one we were using dimensions where did this dimension go how are we going to do it one by one again and going to annotation in drawing and placing the dimensions if you prefer that one who oh, i tell you it's hectic and tedious but autodesk inventors made is very very interesting and very pleasant to work with it why do i say so because all you need is just but retrieve the dimensions and place them here but before i retrieve the dimensions and place them here i want to uh, do a cross section section this part okay now how am i going to cross section this part uh there are tools available for me here now straight away let me go to uh, placing tools or views here i click on sectioning click on that button and within this window that has been highlighted as you can see this dotted line click in uh, within it okay now this i'm gonna hover my mouse over this one i really want to make sure that at least i section it within the center of that circle or where it was for it to be very well viewed now i hover in order to align it so that i can also cut this part or section that part a bit using the center there's the center that's the center that's the center i want to hover is yes, sometimes okay i can zoom for uh, cl clarity yes there it is now i'll start by clicking that part towards the right side so you can do it even and vice versa and there it is and now what am i going to do i drag it down without clicking anywhere right click and say continue now when you say continue you can see straight away let me the, the pop-up window comes drag it on the other side i haven't clicked anywhere yet but uh, as you see i don't want to place it upside down i want just to place it th that way 
that it can be viewed from this part because I, d I didn't it's, it's basically there. Now that's okay for me. I can I can put it there and drag it later down. Okay. I click it down. That's okay. And uh, it's it's done. Now what next I can select you can hover over this one. There it is and uh, and uh, uh, click and drag it now down and drag it now it doesn't change now the direction is well placed as you can see it has been sectioned because automatically Autodesk Inventor 2020 that I'm using the version it has sectioned it if you view from this part and you are sectioning it you are dissecting or sectioning it in at the center of this part through that one you can see this wall this part is sectioned and this is the hole so this part has not been sectioned because it, it was hollow yes now it's beautiful the next level is now to insert our dimensions i say that i want to do it manually again by going to dimensions so of course you can do you can click and uh, you can click on a dimension and uh, measure that one and also uh, bring this one and also drag it i don't want to do that because already we had used dimensions and that they're here all you need is to retrieve them and how do you do that one move over the mouse within the window and try to click and say retrieve annotation and here you can ch select this sketch let me draw uh, the 3d uh, annotations but we are interested in sketch and features dimensions select features they say okay you can do one by one and also go to that one let's do one by one uh, retrieve you right click retrieve dimensions and there it is because uh, i selected uh, click apply and also over over that one right click on it uh, click on retrieve uh, modern annotations there it is and say okay now it's annoying again as you can see dimensions are just placed everywhere even you know, over the, 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 the drawing and what i don't like is going back again wasting a lot of time draw dragging them one by one for example this one is not visible let me zoom let me zoom as you can see it's over uh, uh, a drawing they're not neatly placed and again it's tedious if you want to do manually so i'm gonna show you a trick that i uh, will charm your wall First of all, this one you can easily drag it, bring it inside if you want to resize it uh, and place it in a good position as well with me. Or oh, the rest, I don't like them the way they are placed. So what you you do is very simple. I'll show you. Zoom this one for clarity. Now select, click on sketch annotation here. Now select your window from right to left. There we are. Come to this after it is selected everything come to arrange click arrange voila there it has automatically arranged from the dimension as you can see the beautiful let me let me let me magnify by zooming this one as you can see they are aligned very well they have been placed all the dimensions very well without necessarily going back again to do what it has shown even the hidden features are which we retrieved actually as they were so we don't need to go there now this one has not been done again i select i select from right to left you not know, to select and uh, this is a comma uh, another tr uh, trick that works also in autocad very well left uh, selection from left to right and uh, right to left for the beginners is anything that comes within the window or touches the window is selected so all the dimensions are selected and again you go to arrange annotation and on a disk i click arrange i it has arranged for me but unfortunately i need to dimension a few a few of these so first of all let me drag this one uh, the section view downwards uh, because of the space and i can drag it a little bit up and here since there is enough space i don't have to worry you can always drag it a bit up to create some space for the uh, sectioning there it is we are good now there are some dimensions we are ov overlapping here as you can see if i don't want this dimension here i can move it to somewhere else here or somewhere else and uh, there's another one here let me zoom this dimension uh, of this okay now what are we going to do about this we can always hold on and drag it uh, to any given point where it is visible not to overlap and i think uh, there's not so many dimensions here so i don't need to worry about anything and uh, and uh, since uh, this e are space from the top from the top i can move in order to show this dimension clearly there are no dimensions we are overlapping in this case 
now i think we are good on the data this has overlapped again so i'm going to drag it also this you can all, always hold and drag it up outside in order to position it well okay let me over and select this specifically and you can place it wherever you want to place it there manually so that it doesn't gonna zoom for clarity hold it drag it and position it okay or you can position it well now now well well as you can see let me zoom in and out this one is also touching the paper margin you're supposed to leave at least a, a 10 millimeters away from the margin paper margin here we are we have done all this and I see you can see all the dimensions now we want to create an auxiliary view of the in a form of auto or isometric of this uh, of this uh, section part so how are we going to do this uh, by uh, selecting it left selecting it in right clicking on it again to invoke a command and uh, select proje projected view now as you hover over this one it shows you where you want to place if you come that one if you go to that direction you can always see the views now i don't want this kind of because i really want this position so I, 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 I to be visible that one as it was session so i'll take this one and i place it first here uh, and uh, uh, i right click and say oh, create it has been created now i'll hover over it and hold and drag it to this space uh with a scale of one one i don't want to change it it's okay it feels very well as you can see now i've created an, um, an auxiliary view or of these uh, orthographic view section part of the of the plan here it is from the plan as it is as you can see it's beautiful you see now select it as you show by double clicking it you know to change now as you can see here i can't change i can't change because they are inactive because they are locked the style is locked so toggle in between by deselecting it and selecting that model and uh, say okay the scale i don't want to change because i i left this one at one to one so it's better be one to one if you edit this one i prefer you also edit this one so that they can fit well uh, on the same scale now up to that extent i think we are good and you can see every part is uh, hatched on the section part as it is also on this plan on this uh, front elevation sorry on the, yeah well what have we left like, with now we're gonna go into editing our title block because information key uh, the recipe the re recipient also even the one of the or the other of the work needs to be appreciated or acknowledged and this is where we also need to so let me zoom this part of the title block as you can see depending on the standards of your country some countries like america india and many other countries of course standards uh, of drawing uh, some use international standards so i want to retain this uh, standard uh, it's a standard and i'm going to show you how to edit and enter some information in this title block is very easy uh, so first and foremost uh, right away you on our browser on the left part you're gonna go back to the drawing here uh, on this you can always uh, uh, click and uh, uh, minimize and also maximize the browser you know to see other features uh, if you over this you can see the shape formats the borders title block this way we're interested so over over that one and uh, if you select it and right click you can edit now here it is there are two ways i'm going to show you first of all you can edit over here and also even this one as well now it's so easy in this place you can always uh, let me here's where you, you can edit the dimensions for example the title block as you can see let me uh, go back uh, to the previous uh, drawing uh, this was my previous drawing that we used in the as you can see it has it doesn't show some dimensions here but you can resize these you can resize that as part your preference so i will take you back to the exercise that we are working on here you can change the dimensions by double clicking and there it is it's that two millimeters you don't need much about anything here now Mm -hmm. what else is many you can say let me say 42 uh, watch keenly the way to modify this length and voila it has changed 
this dimension by extending it to uh, this box where the other is to uh, 42 millimeters but I don't want it I will just take it back and say 32 retain its actual position so here you can also double click for example the other let me edit it if you double you hover zoom double click on it uh, it will invoke uh, that and then you can I I like that one and over it maybe let me say I'll write my name there Alfio say okay it has been changed now by default Autodesk Inventor plays the date at which uh, uh, you've uh, created the document the dates in which the document is created so you don't have to edit this always by default it can be inserted but you can always change if you want revision number and, and uh, relevant information can be put but I want to edit this from a different perspective again to show you how you can work on the current project because this is by default now in order to edit now we'll change you can say finish okay say yes it has changed as you can see here we are the dates have been placed uh, actually the documents been created today now let me go back to the ISO this is a different title block the first one was under this pay attention very well under this but now I'm going to the actual orthographic block and I'm going to edit it here under this but in this case I'm not going to resize but I'm going to uh, edit the text inside here so as usual you can uh, uh, double click double click on this left double click on mouse here it goes you can see the title part number which we are seeing here they're not shown now they're not displayed this information is blank it has not been displayed now you can click on this button and here we go for example uh, under general what is there you can say summary the title which is supposed to be inserted here we didn't do you can say it it's now orthographic okay orthographic a block mm -hmm. mm. okay these are other information that under that you can say the other user uh, you can fill it uh, blah 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 you can say okay let me see yeah here we go straight away by default as per to the format uh, or the text height that was given there it's auto oh, oh, it was automated so it fits you don't have to edit anything now you can as well move to something else or oh, let me say uh, the location has been displayed where you've saved the exercise as in the exercise that we are drawing this one we haven't completed and uh, uh, let me say the status here we have the part number uh, most when you are going to for production purposes you can specify, uh, specify uh, in this case uh, which part is this before and save and, and then let me let me let me move to this uh, custom and I want to explain a bit uh, e here you can see the quite a number when uh, you can do some revisions when it was approved and for those who are oh, you are student you want to send you your supervisor to edit or to approve or go through it uh, this way you can make some notes and also it can be seen to have been checked and uh, uh, and uh, it's highlighted and also by who who checked it this uh, where you insert the details and uh, it can be done and also approved so at least you can track uh, your your revisions and you can track also your uh, progress and your project uh, progress now under the project here i want also to explain a few things uh, that also you can uh, specify a, a number of things as you can say description revision number if you want to revise the part uh, uh, or, or the project itself is uh, comprehensive because it can contain uh, various parts uh, for example but also uh, uh, let me say right now we're working on uh, under COVID-19 solutions uh, you can have for example let me uh, say if it's a, um, a respirator or just a ventilator it has various parts so you can specify uh, you see online uh, collaboration people decide to modify some parts Okay, you can always be showing this uh, and uh, a number of things even where you can outsource sometimes uh, you can uh, show also the link or the vendor if these are uh, ready-made uh, parts or they are available in the course uh, of that part so it's, it's very important to uh, pay attention to this uh, and uh, uh, the rest is self-explanatory uh, should you have some information or inquiry you can always raise the question 
and finally here it is and uh, I'll say general there's nothing much about that uh, you say close now we'll uh, move to something else uh, you can enter any information that you want uh, that that's it now here we are uh, we have created a new part dot IDW we place the orthographic uh, views the plan front elevation and side elevation we retrieve the dimensions we also created the uh, sectioned views both the isometric section view uh, uh, isometric auxiliary and also the normal section part which is the front elevation here and we've complicated our exercises part to our objectives here I hope you've enjoyed our uh, lesson uh, you can give me a thumbs up and uh, keep watching uh, to see updated new practice exercises for your upping of your skills thank you